parrot, what the hell is that? Another security measure. Damn it all. Oh yeah. What up, everybody? It is your boy Remy, and I am back. Sorry for the hiatus. You know, your boy was out there finishing school. So now that school is done, you know, trying to go over, go to work, get a job, all that. But aside from that, let's get to on to our topic. I've been playing this game a little bit, not much because, like I said, I was in school. But man, The Witcher Three, wow! Now I have played The Witcher Two. wasn't a big fan of it. Not that it wasn't a good game, but it came so by the time I started playing it it was so late in the generation it was hard for me to go back to 360 and you know and then jump you know and play my xb1 is just it's hard you know seeing the changes like that you get used to playing xb1 i don't want to you know play on my 360 but anyway but this game right here this game right here it has depth man that's the one thing i do like about the witcher now a lot of people that you know have been telling me that you know oh well there's nothing more than just skyrim you know and i i can see where they where they get those comparisons as far as like a third person type game that's similar to skyrim as far as like all right you you know you have powers and all that except for skyrim you could obviously you could you know create your character like you could be a warlock or a soldier or whatever you know as far as the witcher you're just the witcher um Another horse. now i i must say this, Let's see what this if does. you don't like a lot of talking <laughs> this this is not the game for you because you're going to have to talk to people otherwise you're not going to be able to progress through the story and i'm just saying that as far as you know just the simple things like this game is more about exploration discovery and then tactic like it's not a game where you could just it's not rise or it's not um the order you well, can't just be like oh i'm gonna just to or call of duty you can't just it's shoot your way or slash your way through the game because one you you're not strong enough to do it so most of the enemies that you encounter most of them are on your level i should say most but you're always going to encounter you know enemies that are a lot stronger than you it just happens all the time um you, like there was this one level i was like man i'm gonna beat this i'm gonna beat this and they had like these uh ghouls that are in this barn and i'm sitting there fighting them you know i'm telling you i must have been fighting them for like an hour maybe an hour and a half trying to fight through through these four it's only four four ghouls but since i didn't have an, my energy up you know i mean i had it to the height that it needed to progress through the story just not to do this particular side quest and i was getting my ass handed to me man like oh man it was rough it, it was rough <laughs> you know so i mean uh yeah this game you definitely have to come up with strategy you're you're gonna die but the thing that's cool about this is that you know they pretty much let you save all the way up until you know the point where you know you're engaged the enemy which is which is great for me like that's a, that was my biggest pet peeve about bloodborne is like all the backtracking because like say you go through this whole thing and you're walking around and then now you got to fight this guy and he kills you well guess what you can't just start from where you were fighting the guy you got to go all the way back and fight all the other people that you were fighting before you can get to that guy that you really need to fight and i just now don't get me wrong it wasn't like that all the time but it happened so frequently it was just annoying i gave up on it um but yeah man this this game right here now what are what are the things that i love about this game um i like that kind of like grand theft auto right grand theft auto you can go and kind of get into stuff but in the witcher it's it's a little it's set up for you a little bit better i should say like you know like in grand theft auto it always seems like all right you do a quest but then it has you running to somewhere else to go finish it which it was okay but sometimes that's annoying like i like if i come over here i drove all the way over here and you tell me okay you came here i'm gonna do this quest but why are you making me drive now all the way on the other side of the map i hate that whereas in the witcher 
you know, if you do a quest, usually your quest is in that area, which is always nice. And sometimes you'll pick up contracts, like you'll do a contract and it's a quest and um, you'll be like, oh, okay, I got to kill these these uh, monsters or whatever. And you'll forget about it. And you might run into the monsters later and then kill them. And then it'll be like, oh, your contract's complete. And then it'll continue from there. Power just like you, if, as if you were just running I over there to do you. it from the jump, you know. Um, Hear my call and but yeah, man, uh, I like the 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 fact that they have such a wide variety of monsters. Now, most of the monsters I've fought so far have been drowners, ghouls. What was the other one? And uh, I forget. Uh, neckers. I think they're called neckers. And there's something else. Some kind of witch type thing. I forget what it was called. But those are the four main ones I've fought thus far. I've only been in, I think I've played like six six hours of this game. Um, but most of it was dying. I haven't really been playing the story. I've been trying to, like I, f I found this dragon and I started trying to fight the dragon. Got my ass whooped repeatedly. <laughs> you know, it was crazy. Um, but yeah, man, that thing is tough. But... You know that's what you know you kind of run across in the witcher and it, and it makes you want to do that because like you don't get a lot of you know, i don't think you get any um experience points when you kill humans or animals like dogs or yeah. like you can get use them for food because the witcher seems like it just eats anything it eats monsters it eats he eats you know wolves deers he eats whatever i don't think he eats humans but i might be mistaken i don't know i haven't seen seen him try to eat a human i mean as far as like you know you kill a person and then your loot is like a human heart or something i haven't seen that yet but yeah man like this this game is definitely impressive um visually very nice very 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 nice my biggest issue with the game was probably the frame rates now it doesn't really necessarily hurt the game as far as um as far as you know gameplay like i i never felt like the frame rate got me killed but you know it does kind of take you out of the experience when you're you know you're fighting this guy and then it gets all janky on you you know now i do like the fact that they have so many different potions and you know different effects that you know just cause the cam the camera to change on you you know based on like what you consumed and all that stuff you know it's just man so it's a lot going on here man like like this is the type of game this is not a type i mean i guess for depending on the person you could beat it in a you know you just beat it straight and then finish it but this is more of a game you pick up you play you put down you play something else you do something else and then you come back to it man but yeah man i give it a nine out of ten